Hi, I'm Joseph. I work at Lincoln Agritech Limited as a research scientist. Lincoln Agritech is a multidisciplinary research and development company owned by Lincoln University in Canterbury, New Zealand. I'm part of the electromagnetics team and we're going to take a look through our microwave lab. Research scientists make measurements and observations in the lab and test these against theory. Most of the people on our electromagnetics team come from a physics or engineering background and have usually done a PhD to gain research experience and or work in other research labs. In our lab, we study microwaves and how they interact with different materials. Microwaves are a type of electromagnetic wave with a wavelength ranging from one millimeter up to about one meter. Most people will already be familiar with this kind of wave. They're used in Wi-Fi networks and, of course, in microwave ovens. We explore how low-power microwaves can be used for sensing and detection. The ideas we're using are similar to radar. We have a microwave source that transmits a signal, bounces off the object of interest, and returns to a receiver. Analyzing the return signal lets us see inside the object and understand its composition. It is Straightforward to generate microwaves, we only need to pass an alternating current through an antenna which will then give off microwaves. Our lab is currently investigating the use of microwaves in medical imaging applications. Our lab is one of just a handful of labs in the world using microwave minimaterial lenses for imaging application. Hello, I'm Eva the electromagnetics team leader. My team uses microwaves for a wide range of applications. The medical image scanner project, for example, that Joseph just introduced, was inspired by our work on sensing the body fat of farm animals. Body condition scoring, as it is called, is currently done manually to aid decisions on feeding and reproduction. Our technology allows to measure body fat objectively and automatically, without the need to even touch the animal. My team also developed sensors to measure snow layers on top of an Arctic sea ice. This is very important information to understand the impact of climate change. Autonomous Pivot, a company based in Israel, uses our soil moisture technology in their smart center pivot irrigation systems, both benefiting the environment and saving water costs. My team has also developed technology to support decisions in vineyards and fruit farming. This specific sensor was used to predict the grape yield. A typical day in our lab can be quite varied. For example, we set up measurements and experiments in our lab, such as with our medical imaging scanner metamaterial lens. We then analyze our data using reconstruction algorithms and carry out simulations and computer modeling. We might also build prototypes using our in-house 3D printer. We also carry out a lot of field work. Not all of our time is spent in the lab. Our scientists are often out in the field, working with animals, farmers, or even in Antarctica. If you want to know more about us, please visit our website or follow us on social media.